Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Tessie and this is my space. So I'm super excited for this video today because it is one of the videos I've always wanted to do. Like it's a product review video. If you've been following my channel and you've been watching a lot of my videos, you will see that one of the most um, viewed video I have on my channel is a product review video. It's a video where I did um, the wild hot comb review and if you haven't seen that video yet you might want to check it out it's a whole different vibe with that video because i actually did the video when i started my youtube channel a couple of months ago i would say about six months ago so yeah like a, a video without experience sort of thing but it is one of the highest viewed videos on my channel so today i'm gonna top it up by doing another product review video this video is gonna be all about foundations. I actually picked out a foundation recently and I've been using it for work, so I, it's so good. I decided to do a review on that foundation because I went on YouTube and I saw that there's no much on the foundation for black women. So yeah, I'm here to do a review on the Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid Makeup. This is it, guys. So Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid Makeup is a foundation sort of but it's kind of like very light it doesn't have like a heavy wear to it it's so light so 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 light on the skin and when you put it on it's more like you don't have anything on your skin it just covers up and blends your face and make it look more like neat but not like too loud or too heavy so today i'm going to be reviewing this foundation and before i do that i'll just go right ahead and do some eye makeup and then i'm going to put on this foundation and let you guys be the judge of it so let's go right into it so first thing i do is go ahead to brush my brows just align it because like it or not i do not do much on my brows just basically just put little things on it so as you can see i'm trying to align the brows and it's falling in place pretty well so after aligning the brows i'll just go ahead and use my cargo pencil now if you've seen a lot of my video also i did a video on this pencil like this pencil is one of my favorite pencil of all time it gives you that matte look not too shiny not too sweaty like it's so perfect and ever since i got this um from new life um store i have never seen another and it's almost finishing so i'm kind of like using some other products as well but this is one of like the best product ever for brows for me so yeah i'll just go ahead and align the brows and basically what i do is try to just make the line just form a line underneath my brows just like so and then blend in like fill it in where it's canty just like so then also make a line at the top Just like so. And when I've done my brows, I don't immediately go ahead to do my under eye because I use my primer first. So I'll just go ahead and put my primer. And I do use the W7 Prime Magic. It is really the best thing for me right now after MOM. Okay, once that's in, I'll just take my MAC concealer and my angle brush, this one, and then go right ahead to conceal my brows. Now I conceal my brows just by taking a little bit of this, just like so, and start from the middle. to blend out with this brush. So 
So once I've blended the outer part with the contour palette, I'm just going to go in with the LA Pro Concealers. So I'm just gonna go in with my LA Pro Concealer and cover all the dark spots.
Thank you.